Hello again. So I've had a request for my uh, thinking and and decision making process on my on the electrical uh, equipment that I had bought um, from uh, one of the uh, subscribers. So I thought I would address that. Um, so the first thing I bought when I was putting all this together was this uh, Ames inverter. Um, this is the third one that we've we bought about uh, one of my other bus, and uh, I have uh, bought one for my brother's motorhome, and this is the one I have in, in this one. This is a six kilowatt, 240 volt uh, split phase. Um, you know 24 volt uh, DC inverter um, <clears throat> they're low frequency and if um, you're not familiar what the difference between low and high frequency um, I can I'll do a little quick uh, explanation of the difference that I know of um, if there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube and whatnot uh, already because uh, they're going into way more detail on them but what I liked about the low frequency over the high frequency was that uh, the surge capacity is just astronomical, uh, the difference. Um, this is a six kilowatt inverter. Uh, it'll produce 18 kilowatts for, th for 30 seconds, I believe, if I remember right. And then it comes down, you know, uh, I think it'll do eight kilowatts or something like that for half an hour. Uh, high frequency inverters have, um, their surge capacities are just for milliseconds, um, you know, to start motors and whatnot. Uh, and uh, if that's all you need, that's great. Um, I, I, you know, I'm planning on running uh, air conditioners and, um, you know, that kind of thing. A lot of large power draws on and the cooktop, the oven, all that stuff is all, um, it's all uh, electric. Not propane so I the reason I went with this is that uh, it has the, the large uh, capacity uh, you know starting capacity uh, I can run I can start and run all three air conditioners um, so that's you know whatever I don't know what they take to start but uh, they run at about 1500 watts so that's four and a half kilowatts uh, with all three air conditioners running uh, of course you have to have the batteries to be able to you know to support that but um, I'm planning on being able to run probably two inverter or I'm sorry two two air conditioners of course a plane's got to be flying over right now right um, two air conditioners running off the alternator on the on the bus while I'm traveling it's got a 275 amp 24 volt inverter uh, alternator so you know, there's plenty of power available there. So that was my reason for that inverter. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not saying that uh, these Ames inverters are the best on the market or anything like that. I've been perfectly happy with the uh, with the performance of them. I've had zero issues with them um, over. I have, I think, about the first one almost eight years ago. And um, until I parked the other bus, you know, last year, uh, the inverter had been on, operating uh, nonstop for six years, something like that. So, you know, I, I have no complaints with them. Uh, whether they're the the absolute best or not, you know, <laughs> there's always debate on that. Um, so, you know, whatever you know, whatever works for somebody. I, I my personal opinion is if uh, if I had been able to get uh, Victron equipment at a decent price I would have uh, probably gone that way I'd say they're probably the you know the best on the market um, but they're just too expensive uh, where I'm at and uh, so uh, this was a good second choice plus the inverter or the uh, uh, Victrons, I believe, are high frequency, so you know they're going to have a lot uh, uh, shorter surge capacity. Um, you know, in the milliseconds. Uh, you know, but if you're just 
trying to start electric motors or stoves or, or stuff like that it's fine a lot of people use them they just think they're the greatest so and I, I believe that they probably are they have a lot of features that these ones don't have you know these are pretty basic as far as <clears throat> as far as um, uh, monitoring and that kind of thing but they do the job they get the they, you know they they charge and they they invert just perfectly fine so that's why I went with these um, now as far as okay, hang on a second here You'll have to excuse my messy bay. It's full of parts and pieces right at the moment. <laughs> but uh, I went with uh, the Renogy solar charge controller. Um, again, mostly because of price. Uh, here in Canada, the Victron stuff, uh, Amazon.com will not ship it to Canada. And I couldn't get across the border to you know, have it shipped there. So uh, I had to, you know, use Amazon.ca, and the price was quite a bit higher uh, for now. I'm, for now this is for Victron equipment, so that's why I went with the Renogy. Um, and you know, uh, again, whether it's the best or all this kind of stuff, I, you know, I don't know. I've been perfectly happy with it. Uh, I know, you know, the a lot of people are using everything Victron, and and you know, the the monitoring, the the all that kind of stuff, uh, the apps to to keep track of everything there are um, you know they all talk to each other and you know that so that for that portion of it it's probably those are probably better um, but uh, this has a, a Bluetooth app that works just fine for me and you know so it works good um, I didn't I, you know I, I got a, a 100 amp uh, charge controller I don't think I'll ever use 100 amps, but it was on sale. It was the same price as the 60 amp one, so I went, okay, I'll buy that one. You know, and it's huge, uh, but it works fine. So and I got lots of room, so I'm not worried about it. Um, solar panels, uh, you can't, I can't show them to you. They're up on the roof, of course, but um, I went with the flexible panels. I didn't want a big panel uh, or a big rack, flat rack up on the roof, so I just went with a with a um, with the flexible panels and there's a lot of controversy as to whether they're any good or not I haven't had any problems with them and I've had them up there for over a year I'll I'll have, I have four hundred seventy five watt panels I'm gonna double that I don't know if I'll do it this year or not but probably next year I'll put another four up there for 1400 watts right now I've got 700 total so you know I've been quite perfectly happy with it it's uh, worked fine um, and uh, so, you know, there's always debates as to which is better and all this kind of stuff as far as as uh, panels go and all this equipment. But uh, this has all worked really well for me. Um, I bought, um, I have mentioned earlier, uh, this battery bank is pooched. Um, and yes, that's a technical term. <laughs> anyway, and I, so I bought uh, 16 of the EVE. Uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, that are stuck on a ship in the Vancouver Harbor. I ordered them in March, into March, and uh, it's now the first part of July. I still don't have them, but uh, they're you know they're having trouble getting them unloaded. The, sh the port's all jammed up, so uh, I have no idea when they're going to get here. Uh, but the reason I bought those was I've been watching. Um, the off-grid garage. So Andy there, he's you know he kind of has been building a, a battery bank and uh, had all the links and everything to, to buying uh, all these products, these uh, batteries and all that kind of stuff. So um, you know if you're thinking about doing that as well, uh, I watch the watch his channel. The the right from basically from the beginning when he uh, when he started the. Uh, he's got a lot of good information and he's you know he doesn't uh, claim to be an expert or anything he's just uh, trying stuff and and find the stuff that works and find the stuff that, that, that doesn't and um, uh, and he's you know it's pretty, pretty entertaining to watch him so uh, anyways uh, if you're interested in that uh, maybe go there to his channel and and, uh, and watch that if you're thinking about these these batteries as well that's the reason I bought them and I bought them from the link he had, because uh, he'd have done all the research and whatnot. Uh, since then, I've I've 
kind of, you know, been looking around on Alibaba and that kind of thing. And the, I think I've, I don't think I'd buy them from the same supplier again. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see how that all goes. Anyway, um, so hopefully this answered some questions. If there's any any other questions that somebody anybody had, um, I'd be happy to answer them um, if you're building something like this. Well, one other thing I should probably mention is I did, uh, look, all this stuff I've gone over kind of uh, in bits and pieces as I've been building it, but, you know, never really all the equipment at at once so you can't see them but those lines that are hanging down over there go to two automatic transfer switches um, and I wanted to have uninterrupted power so you know whether I was switching from shore power to generator or shore power to to inverter uh, I wanted it to be to not lose power because um, all your you know if you got electronic clocks and that kind of stuff that are all uh, dependent on having continuous power then um, you know I wanted to be able to to do that so that's so that's why I put those in now like I said you can't see them up in there they're two parallax uh, 50 amp transfer switches and they're mount they're configured so that uh, uh, the inverter is the last uh, power supply in the chain so uh, one of them switches uh, shore power to generator which I don't have installed yet but uh, shore power to generator and then the second one uh, if it doesn't have either shore power or generator power then it switches to the uh, to the inverter and uh, that's all been working very well and I've got the uh, you know except for the generator part of course <laughs> um, and I also have a line running from the the first char, uh, transfer switch to the charger on the uh, inverter. So if it's on either shore or generator power, then it will uh, power the charger in the inverter. And um, and uh, you know if there's no power there, well, then it switches to to invert and, and trips the other transfer switch and and uh, and runs the. Um, you know, it runs everything inside off of that. So, anyways, I hope this uh, all made sense and uh, helps help somebody with their their project. I know uh, Michael is uh, in the process of building his, and he was the one that that uh, requested it. So, hopefully, others find it useful. And uh, if not, then I'm sorry I wasted your time. <laughs> I'll see you later.